everybody, you're about watching you. Absolute Lego and welcome to an unboxing video. I just came back from Barnes and Noble and I got the Harry Potter Bricktober pack. So I'm going to be unboxing this set today and then I will review the figures. So the figures this comes with are Madam Hooch, Professor Slughorn, Dolores Umbridge, and Snape as the dressed up as Neville's grandma. So, oh wait, that's taped on the back too, dang it. So let's get that. This plastic's annoying. And uh, why I want this. And there we go. So now we can just slip this plastic off like so. And now, here are here's a quick look at all of the figures. And now I will do a closer, in-depth review. So first figure we have is Madame Hooch, the broom teacher at Hogwarts. So she has no printing on the legs. Oops, this thing's coming undone. She has no printing on the legs. She has a tan, the tan colored wand, a normal brown broom. She has a printed vet, uh, tunic that I, re the reason this figure is my favorite out of the four figures is because of this tunic. I think it's a really good tunic. She has the black cape, same as Darth Vader, so I will be able to change my Lucius Malfoy. She does have printing on the back, just a little white strip and little gray to the body line. And this figure, I don't actually know if it has another face or not. Yes, it does, and it is her goggles face. And I like that face better, actually. It's a really cool goggles face. And... This uh, she has the same hair as Ed from the Jace Jet, and she, her her front face is pretty good as well. But I definitely like the back face better. So yeah, there we go. That's that figure. Now let's go on to the next one. There, we'll put her there. Next figure is Professor Slughorn, who does not want to come out of this pack. There we go. So he has two accessories, same as Madam Hooch. He has, just give me a second. And there we go. So here is Professor Slughorn. He has a green beaker, same as the one from Dr. Hugo Strange, uh, Professor Hugo Strange from the Lego Batman minifigure series, too. He has the light brown colored wand, and he has a orange suit with a little bit of printing on the back with wrinkles in this little button. And he has a very cool, yeah, I like his hairpiece a lot. And it actually does have a little bit of print. It's not much. It just has a little streak of white and a white and gray on each. There's white here, and then there's gray here. And on the other side, it is just gray. So that his hairpiece is pretty cool. He has, and he has. I really like this. Tunic, by the way. It's not as good as Madame Hooch, but it still is good. He does have an alternate face, which is probably him when he's not pleased with something. And that is it for that figure now. Oh, my stand just came undone again. So, now the next figure, let's see if we can actually get her to get out of the box. Okay, there we go. That one was a lot easier. This one is Dolores Umbridge. And she is probably my f 
third favorite, no, my fourth favorite. She's my least favorite in the series. She has the same teacup that Trelawney does from the Harry Potter minifigure series. She has pink everywhere. She's the only figure in the series that has dual molded legs. And she actually has printed heels on, shoes on, but they don't go on to the back, sadly. That kind of stinks. And on the back, it just kind of looks like a wool sweater on the back. That printing's really cool. I really like that printing. She has the dark brown colored wand that's in like Harry Potter. She has more of the wool kind of sweater thing. And she has a button, a pin that has a cat on it. And she has an undershirt and a dress. And she does, I think, have an alternate Yes, she does have an alternate face. I think all of them have alternate faces except Snape. So this face I like a little better. I think it's a lot better to her character and it looks a lot like her. But I think she's too tall. I think they should have used the mid legs, teenage legs on her. And I think that would have been better because she is a lot shorter. Like I know she's a lot shorter than Professor McGonagall and stuff like that. But this is just a, it's a common hair piece that I'm not sure if, it might actually be a new shade of brown, but I'm not sure. Why does this thing keep coming undone? These figures have super strong feet for some reason. Now let's see if we can get this final fig. Okay, sorry about that. I actually ran out of space, so I had to transfer some stuff. But let's just get along with the video. So this is Snape dressed up as Neville's grandma. He has the same purse as Coco from the Lego Ninjago minifigure series and let's just put that aside and this figure has some cool pieces that I haven't gotten before like this hat and this scarf kind of thing that's actually supposed to be the body of the cat and you can see on the body that it, you can actually see the cat that's actually eating a mouse and it's like a pinstripe suit I think it's called that's kind of a cool printing to have and it does have some printing on the back and it looks like a, a random bug is just printed onto the back for some reason but this figure does have an alternate face and I know you're wondering if you've seen the uh, Prisoner of Azkaban and you've seen Snape dressed up as Neville's grandma and you're wondering where's the crow I don't know why Lego didn't put the crow onto the hat but they just didn't for some reason. But they did leave the hole on top to where you actually could put the crow in. But he does have an alternate face, which is a very angry face that you can kind of sadly see the opposite face. Just a little bit. It's not too bad, but that's about it for this figure. Gonna put the purse back on and show you all of you guys the figures in a row. Oops. There is Snape. There is Umbridge. Slughorn. And Madam Hooch. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and put down in the comment section down below which of these four figures is your favorite. And if you have gotten the Bricktober pack, this has been Absolute Lego unboxing this. Barnes and Noble Bricktober pack and I'll see all of you guys later. Bye